I received the CNC machine type 3018 Pro Max shown here from the company Mostix. The machine is almost completely made of metal. The frame and the milling table are made of aluminum, the axes are guided by linear ball bearings along round steel rods. The CNC ships with some extras, including... ...a sensor for leveling the milling tool consisting of a metal cylinder and an alligator clip... ...an offline controller for moving the three axes and powering the milling motor which can also read and process G-code files directly from an SD card... ...two ER11 collets for 3.175 and 4mm tools suitable for the included 30 degrees V-bits and the two 2mm cutters... ...and wrenches for changing the milling tools as well as the hexagonal tools required for the assembly. The assembly instructions are on the USB stick and on a printed manual. Screws with wing nuts and metal plates are used to clamp the workpieces on the milling table. Data can be transferred directly from a PC using the included USB cable. The power supply delivers an output voltage of 24 volts at up to 10 Amps. All photos in high resolution of what is inside the package... ...as well as from the assembly can be found on the website. The core element of the mainboard is a microcontroller type 80 Mega 328P running the open source firmware Garbel. The axis can be positioned easily and quickly via the large hand wheels. Or you can use the offline controller and push the buttons. The axis can be moved with adjustable step width. The biggest advantage of the offline controller is that it can read and process G-code files from an SD card. If the USB cable is connected to the offline controller, it turns to be a card reader and data can be transferred directly from a PC to the controller. There is no need for a PC to process a workpiece which saves lots of electric energy while operating the machine. The working area of the CNC is 294 x 132 x 49mm with the limit switches enabled. The maximum speed for all axes specified in the firmware is 1000mm per minute, however you can change that if you like playing around with parameters. All motors stop immediately when the emergency switch is triggered. In standby mode with all motors switched off, the Pro Max consumes between 2 and 3 watts. With all motors in operation, the input power rises to just over 40 watts, while the milling motor is switched on, it is briefly over 50 watts for a couple of seconds. The maximum electric input power of the milling motor is specified as 200 watts. The maximum speed without load is more than 10,000 revolutions per minute. Time for some tests of the Pro Max. There are high resolution photos of the results on the website so that you can get an own impression of the capabilities of the machine. In the first test, wood is milled. The template is processed line by line, from left to right. One of the 30 degrees V bits is used. The material is beech wood. Another relief is milled on the back, this consists of curved surfaces. Detailed information on the test procedure is available on the website.
The second material is plastic. A 2.5mm two flutes milling cutter is used, which is not included in the package. Material is first removed in the X direction from a 15x50mm square rod made of acrylic plastic. In a second step material is removed in Y direction. In the third step the material is also removed in Y direction but with a very large overlap. On the opposite side of the square rod a hemisphere with a diameter of 12mm is melt out at the left edge. On the right edge round stairs are milled. Two U-shaped grooves, each 7mm deep are milled in the center of the workpiece, initially in a clockwise direction... and to the left in counterclockwise direction. As next test a 2mm plexiglass plate is engraved with one of the 30 degrees V bits. For the purpose of cooling, a bowl formed of modeling clay is filled with water. It are mentioned that the results can be seen in high resolution photos on the website... As final test a circuit board is made by isolation milling. Another one of the 30 degrees V bits is used for this. The depth of engraving is about 0.2mm. In the second pass the holes are pre-drilled with the V-bit.
In the third pass, the holes are drilled with a 1mm drill which is not part of the package, nor is the needed ER11 collet. How open the CNC 3018 Pro Max from Mostix is, as well as the results of the tests can be seen on the website of how open is this gadget. There are high resolution photos of the machine, the contents of the package, the assembly and of course of all the test results. With that you can get your own impression of the machine without anyone babbling about what you should think of it. This video is only intended to give you a first impression of the 3018 Pro Max from Mostix in moving pictures and transmitting the sounds emitted by the CNC. Thanks for watching and I'll be back!